neat as hell looking little gadget that can play my Game Boy cartridges directly on my PC? Is that a dream or could this be real? <laughs> Howdy Internet! This is Itzner from Pew Pew Advance um, and today I want to talk a little bit about the GB operator from a company called Epilog. I hope I pronounced that correctly, I don't know. The, the GB operator is a really really cool looking small kind of gadget that you can plug into your PC uh, to play your Game Boy cartridges directly on your PC, which is which is insane. I saw this thing and I, I, I fell in love. So uh, the information at the moment uh, about the GB operator is kind of sparse. So I'm just trying to create a video uh, talking about what I do know at the moment. This is kind of a new type of video for me. So I hope this goes kind of well. I got like a little script Thing, but I don't know how good this will work. Let's just roll with it. First up, uh, I'm not uh, affiliated with the, with the company that creates the GB operator. This is not an ad or something. I'm just really excited about this uh, gadget because it sounds like absolutely awesome for for my uh, for my personal uh, like uh, retro world. Um, so. Uh, to start things off, what I'm not really sure about is uh, it does look like this company Epilogue is the same company or at least there are the same people behind it that are behind the company um, Analog, which does actually create uh, these fancy little uh, retro consoles that can play your old retro cartridges like uh, there's like a SNES thing, there's a uh, Game Boy, I think it's called the Analog Pocket, a, a, a new kind of Game Boy thing that plays all the Game Boy uh, cartridges. So it kind of, uh, from like the, the way the, the website is built up and uh, everything uh, looks, it kind of seems to be the same company, however they're branding it like differently, so I'm not really sure and of course like the name is really similar uh maybe it's kind of a spin-off company I, I have no idea um but that is not really uh that important i guess um so uh what does the gb operator exactly do it uh it's like this tiny little uh, uh gadget that looks really neat because it's uh it has like this uh, it's like transparent uh, the the the, the uh, shell so you can see through the shell uh, and actually see your cartridge being uh, put in there um, which looks really really neat um, and basically you can connect the GB operator via USB cable to your PC um, and the operator then communicates with the PC via a dedicated uh, desktop app that is currently not yet available, but will apparently be available as soon as, as the thing is released. Um, and the desktop app and the GB operator then allow me to, to play Game Boy or Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance cartridges right on my PC. So uh, the, the playing on the PC is, as far as I understood, done via a emulator. Per default, they are using the MGBA emulator, but they're saying that you can freely choose a different emulator if you, if you want to. The thing can download save games from the cartridge to my PC and vice versa. So you can also upload a save game from PC to the cartridge because this is uh, the safe game thing is both ways. You can actually uh, y use this a little bit uh, like a switch, you could say, because you can actually like play your uh, cartridge, Game Boy cartridge on your Game Boy Advance uh, console, whatever. And when you're like on your PC, you can just take your cartridge, plug it into your um, GB operator and then continue playing on the PC. When you're playing the cartridge on the PC, you have all the advantages, of course, that you have when it's running on the PC. So you can record 
the gameplay and stuff like that. But it also does, and I think it's pretty clever uh, of them to market this as a special feature, is it enables you not only to uh, play something like this or something like this, you can of course also plug in this beauty and uh, actually uh, save your <laughs> beautifully crisp Game Boy camera pictures on your PC and share them with the whole world, which is pretty freaking neat to to have like such a direct way to do this. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, what they're also saying is that you can via the desktop app um, put games on empty cartridges uh, that you wrote yourself um, with the with the GB Studio. Apparently, GB Studio is apparently a thing. I never heard of that before, but it seems to be a software that's going for a little longer. So you can use the GB Studio to write a game, and then you can use the GB operator app to actually put that on a cartridge. And um, what's like one uh, last really interesting tidbit is that you apparently can use the GB operator to check the legitimacy. That's not how you pronounce that. Hang on. I'm going to ask Google. Legitimacy. The legitimacy. You can use the GB operator to check the legitimacy uh, of your cartridges. So uh, what they're saying, it, uh, it can detect most bootlegged cartridges. So like the issue is like, I, I, I realized that myself when I bought like all these uh, GBA first person shooters on eBay, sometimes it's pretty hard to distinguish the bootlegged cartridges, the fake cartridges from the real ones. So apparently the GB operator kind of has a way to detect at least some of them. The desktop app is made for Windows, Mac and uh, Linux. So you don't have like any compatibility uh, issues there. And like one of the craziest things about this whole dream of a gadget is it's actually only 50 bucks. Like, of course, if you're saying like, man, I can just like play the ROMs on my PC, whatever. Yeah, sure you can, but it's kind of not that legal completely. Um, and to have like this beautiful, uh, but also way more legitimate, uh, way more direct way of playing your actual games on your PC is for 50 bucks. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, in my opinion, a pretty cheap price to, to be able to do that. Because like, if you're thinking about uh, upgrading your old consoles, for example, or, 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 or buying something like the, the analog pocket or something like that. That's way more expensive. Of course, you have like the mobility um, advantage. But if you're just uh, in for, if you're A, in for, I want to play my old cartridges like in a, with a more crisp picture or with more... Uh, Possibilities because of course if you're playing it on the PC you can also use like whatever controller your uh, emulator does support so that's also a neat little advantage so if you're saying you just want to have the ability to play that on a PC 50 bucks in my opinion is not really much but what I personally think is the the a huge selling point for this is it's just absolutely perfect and 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 uh, and tailored for uh, content creators that are doing Game Boy content because you you can actually like most of the uh, retro nerds uh, usually have uh, have like cartridges they they want to have like the the real thing but they also want to create content on the PC usually uh, showing these uh, this uh, stuff and the options to to properly record Game Boy gameplay there there are options like the gamecube game boy player or having like a modded ds or something like that uh, and then you also need the um a, a capture card whatever you're trying to do will always need a capture card to connect whatever plays your game boy games to your pc so it's all possible um 
but it's pretty expensive and pretty complicated. So and having like this 50 buck gadget that does this instantly is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, so I got mine pre-ordered, uh, which was possible from January 30th, uh, 2021 uh, onward. And at the moment it says it's going to ship in April 2021. So I can't wait for April to check out my GB operator. And I'm absolutely sure that I'm going to do more uh, videos about that because it's just so such a good fit with the content I I'm trying to do on this channel. Of course, there are still some question marks. Pro some of them will probably not be answered until the, the, the thing is actually released. Um, but for example, one of the points that was kind of not clear for me is if I, if the GB operator is actually also able to, to download the cartridge as ROM on the PC, I personally could imagine that it's absolutely possible to do that with the GB operator and the desktop app, but that Epilogue kind of doesn't want to market the, the, the gadget with that feature because it's kind of I don't know if that's a legal ground where you have to be kind of careful so I could imagine they're just like omitting that information to not get in any trouble but it's also possible that it actually doesn't do that we'll see uh, when it's there or maybe when Epilog releases some more uh, information that being said if you liked me babbling about the GB operator, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications for future content, feel free to subscribe. Not putting any pressure on you though. It's completely, the decision is completely in your realm i'm happy if you subscribe if you if you have any further questions i did not answer in this video about the chibi operator please let me know down in the comments below so i'm um, if there's enough questions i will try to figure that out and if i can't figure it out i'm also thinking about just contacting uh epilogue about the questions uh, can't hurt to try so maybe I can just make another video with like more answers or maybe we'll just wait until April when I get my GB operator and then I'm sure gonna do some content about that and apart from doing content that is about the GB operator if the GB operator does what is promised I'm sure from April onward all my content will be done with the GB operator. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about it. So looking forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye. of course have all the adventures uh, uh, that you uh, can also uh, hang on a minute um, the desktop as like the GameCube Game Boy player or um,